What's up everybody? This is Dallas. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And today we gotta make some money guys. We have to make some money because we got this Bugatti the car to fix. So today we're gonna be doing um not not the customer's car yet. We got well we have some customer cars, but not that customer's car there. We have these right here. We gotta we gotta fix these cars here up first. We gotta get these here done. Because guys, we have a lot of money we have to make. So I want to get the Bugatti fixed, and we want to fix it up, make it look really good, and sell it. Try to get some more money, because right now we are completely, pretty broke for a garage. We only have $180,522, $20, not $22, but $20. First things first, let's see what's going on. I forgot to do that. I keep forgetting this is my, this ain't my car. Uh, increase tuning by 11. This, okay, well, that's fine. Let's go right here. We'll pop up in here. I can already tell the uh, the intake right here is going to be bad. But we're going to do some diagnostics. Uh, fuel pressure test here. Alright, so the car one of the carburetors are bad. Alright, so now let's go ahead and do... No, 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 I don't think it has an OBD. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I didn't think it did. Now we'll do... Oh my gosh. Compression test. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Well, it looks like uh, the rocker arm, two rocker arms are pretty much bad. That's pretty much it. Everything else don't look too good, but uh, at least the pistons are good. That's that's the main thing. <laughs> All right. See, I'm trying to. Th I think uh, the intake. If we can't fix the intake, that's gonna be one of the parts that we will. Uh, that's good. Let's see. It's the rocker arm. Everything is us. It's going to be inside here, so. We're going to start taking stuff off, but if we can, well, if you can, if the intake there doesn't, doesn't get fixed at the table, we will, uh, go ahead and replace that with the, uh, what's my call it one? A better, excuse me, a better one. That way we can get, we can get that, uh, what was it again? Uh, the, oh, okay, 11 to 16. I'm pretty sure we'd be really close to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this engine here, tore down right here. I should have to take it out. I'm going to have to take all this off, though. Actually, I could place maybe one of these carburetors. That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? I have, like, a um, modified carburetor. But not no, uh, I know, uh... I have a carburetor. Yeah, a carburetor. Just one. The other one's stock. That'd be kind of weird. There we go. Let's go ahead. I shouldn't. I know how to do the power steering pump, but you know what? Go ahead and empty it anyways. Why not, right? Oh, we gotta get the water pump off first. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a timing issue too. I just have. I just have that feeling that's gonna be a timing issue. No, I was wrong. No, it actually looks pretty good. Camshaft looks pretty good. That looks really good. I probably had to take that off, but it's fine. Always very nice to check, make sure. So I'm not actually gonna leave that on there. I ain't gonna mess with that. Let's see what else? I'm pretty sure it's going to be some uh, push rods. Could be wrong, but I'm not sure. That one, we'll take it out. Alright, now we can take the intake off here. But, there we are. I gotta remember where the bolts were. It's been a minute since I played this game. Believe it or not. I know they may, yeah, I've been having them come out and stuff. But that's just because I recorded them really, really early. Hold on. I need to check the button. There is a button inside the distributor that could be bad. Nope, it's good. Alright, I see a couple of things. I see over here. This exhaust manifold. It looks pretty bad. Now, the reason I ain't taking these other ones off yet, because I know... That it's, it's, it ain't gonna be that push rod there. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's not. That one looks pretty good. 
All right, we're gonna raise this. We're gonna actually raise this up. I'm gonna go underneath and look at the transmission. But I got a feeling it's gonna be probably the other push rods. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the other push rods, guys, and we'll get to that. First, I'm gonna check his transmission, make sure there's nothing going on inside the transmission. Drive shaft's coming off. Get through this transmission here. I'm gonna help me make some decent money on this episode here. Yep, transmission had some faults in it. Because we definitely, we definitely gotta make some money. Oh, well, that was it. That was the only fault it had. Everything else looks pretty good. Alright, well. Let's see if it if it says anything. Now we still got some parts missing, which like I said, I got a feeling I know what they are. So it's going to be the uh, rocker arms. So let's go ahead and start fixing all. Yep, it's going to fix it up. Of course. Hopefully, no, it didn't take two. Dag, nab it. That's alright. We can still replace every bit of this. Uh, well, I uh, fell that. <laughs> get this back together let's go ahead and put this transmission back in this pressure plate here because that was the only thing that was wrong with the transmission well besides the uh, bearing there we go I have one more bolt somewhere there it is like I have one more bolt somewhere can I find it Go ahead and get this drive shaft put back in. Alright, now let's go back on to the motor here. Now before I start putting anything back together, we're gonna I'm gonna take the um, rods out where the uh, first ones we took out is. We're gonna do see okay the push rod is good. Go ahead and fix that one. Then we we'll come over here. Take this push rod here out. 70, okay, that's still good. Now the other ones I could take out, guys, and just put them right back in. After we look at them, we'll do one at a side at a time. I just want to make sure that the new one got to where the new one needed to be. Looks like one of them were. There's like two of them on this side. Part look like they were bad. But I could be wrong. I know these spark plugs look pretty good. All right, let's see. Yeah, that push rod there and that one right there. So I'm going to need two push rods for over here. Hold on a second. Let's see. 51%. So we're good to replace these with with these right here. As long as they're not under 50, uh, 50 some percent, we're good. We're going to need, we're going to need two push rods. I had a feeling there's gonna be a, a couple of push rods on, on in this. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get the push rods. Push rod. There we go. Two of them. These rock. Come on now. There we go. Put these rocker arms back on. What's working? I'm like, what's going on here? Get these rocker arms back on. There we go. Now let's get this uh, cover back on it. There we go. Now we'll come over here. We'll do the same thing. Besides the new one we put on that, that right there. We know it's not the pistons or the piston rings because it would have popped up. I'm pretty sure. 
We'll go ahead and get them back on. That's good. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Yep, okay. Everything looks pretty good there when it comes to that. We'll go ahead and get this thing put back together. Go. Then we're going to have to go under. Drain the oil. And check out the um, crankshaft bearings and stuff like that. And the rod, and the rod uh, caps. The piston rod caps. Wait a minute, I already had some of these new, didn't I? Or used. Not new, I'm gonna be gosh. I bought these before. Oh man, I should have kept them. I should have just went ahead and used that. The good news is I can I still have those stock ones. So if it's too much horsepower, we can always take them off and put See look I have them right there too. I keep forgetting that I bought a bunch of stuff for uh for a motor and ended and I accidentally got the wrong one. I believe that's what it was. I can't remember. It's been a while back. There we go. Here's the water pump. There we go. There's that one. That should be the fan. No, no, no belt, then the fan. There we go. All right, there's that one. Yeah. All right, we're not gonna fill nothing up yet, not until I get the oil drained out. We can always cheat too to see. Yep, we got it done. See, look. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move this over. We're gonna still gonna put on the dyno. Oh, we're gonna still put on dyno though, and see exactly what's pushing out. We'll see how close we were and how unclose we were. All right, it's going to take this oil pan on out here. Let's see here. I'm trying to see here, it's hard to see with these. Oh, it, oh, yeah, right here it is. Right there. It's this one right here. Pretty sure. Yep, it was it. Crankshaft bearing cap. Wait, what was I missing? Exhaust man. Oh, wait, put the exhaust man in full on. Now, let's get that crankshaft bearing cap right there. I could have tried to fix that one, but it's fine. I know you have a rule, guys. I take it off. I try to fix it, but I ain't got the money. Shh! Don't tell the customers that. <laughs> I don't have the money. That that daggone Bugatti! It broke us. It completely broke us. Go! All right, now let's go ahead and fill all the fluids back up, and this thing will be ready to get thrown on the dyno. Should be it. Let's see. Yep, everything is done. We're going, but still going to take it to the dyno. I'm curious how how close we were, or was we dead on? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to take it to the dyno. We're going to find out. Start. percent so we were we were almost there right at 13 that's that's pretty crazy and I think we really want it oh my goodness oh my goodness he wanted what 16 yeah so like yeah we almost got a month he wanted but hey what can you do 
All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Let's get our picture for the first video. Here we go. All right, guys, I want to say thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Next episode, we're going to be doing both cars, maybe in the first video. I don't know. But, um, yeah. But anyways, I want to say thank you all again so much for coming out and watching. But as always, everyone else, stay awesome. God bless. And peace out.